Mother? What are you doing? Thinking. Guess I don't have to ask about what. I can't believe that Brooke's gonna get the last laugh. It's not over yet. You're right about that. She has control of the patent. It'll just be the beginning. Dad's already got Elliot working on our defense. You know, I've defended this family against Brooke for the past six years, and I just realized how miserably I have failed. You haven't failed? Well, I certainly haven't been able to keep it together, have I? Mother, this is a legal issue. It has nothing to do with the family. What about family unity? You're talking about me? Yes, I am. I'm talking about you. Your feelings for Brooke compromised your sense of family. Well, I didn't agree with what you two were doing. You know, I can't hold this family together without your support and without your father's. And I want to tell you, I'm very upset that I can't count on your father anymore. You don't feel you can count on Dad? No, Sheila was in that meeting. He had her in that family meeting, probably the most important meeting we've ever had. She doesn't belong there. Well, unfortunately, she is his wife. She's an outsider. Just like Brooke is. Mother, we can't shut the rest of the world out of our lives. Look, I know things seem bad, but uh, we're going to get through this. We have before. I don't think I can keep on doing this. What are you saying? I'm saying that I'm tired. I'm tired of fighting. I thought this whole thing with Brooke was over and done with. God, how long is that woman going to torment me? Mother, it's going to be all right. No, it's not. It's not. I want to help you. What can I do? I don't think there's anything that you can do to help. This isn't just about belief. There's something else troubling you, isn't there? What's the matter, darling? Slight case of the wedding bell jitters? I don't have one butterfly. Not one. <laughs> Amazing. Considering this is your last night as a free man. You captured me a long, long time ago. Did I? Yes. Well, tomorrow I'm going to throw away the key. Good. Good riddance. <laughs> you are a brave man, you know that? Why? Well, it takes a pretty brave, bold man to tame a woman like me. Did I ever say I wanted to tame you? No. Oh, Jack, you're something else. Do you know how long I've waited for somebody like you to come into my life? Do you know how long I have waited and prayed for a wedding like we're going to have tomorrow? We're going to be a real family, Jack, a real family. That's important to you, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I want to be able to give my little boy the kind of home I wasn't able to give Macy. You are not responsible for Macy's problems. I don't know. I just thank God that she seems to have solved her problem. You really think? Honestly, that she's stopped drinking. And it is the best wedding present she ever could have given us. Me too. Oh, yes. It's going to be such a beautiful wedding. You haven't seen my dress yet. That should be beautiful. Oh, it is gorgeous. In fact, it is so gorgeous that I'm going to go try it on again. Again? Yes. Listen, I would offer you a special private preview, except it's bad luck. And I don't want to spoil the surprise. Do you think, by any <laughs> chance, that you could be any more excited than you are right now? Oh, gee, honey, I don't know. I'm already on top of the world. You act like you've never done this before. I haven't. I haven't. Not like this. This is better. This is better than the first time. Why? Because it's the last time.
Mace. <laughs> hey, Darla. So, did you do it? I'm all moved in. <laughs> you got yourself a new roommate. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Great. You know something? I have never had a roommate before. Ah, uh, are you sure you want one? Are you kidding me? Macy, we are gonna have so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't tell you how much I appreciate this, oh. Darla. I am so ready to get out of that bar. Yeah, well, I agree with that. I mean, I wish I could have moved in with Thorne at the apartment, but, you know, he wants to take things slow. Well, you know, he might have a point. Too many sudden changes, you know, it might not be good for you. Darla, there is nothing I can't handle. Well, just to be on the safe side, I cleaned all the alcohol out of my apartment. <laughs> Look, I have completely lost the urge to drink, okay? The only urge I have right now is Thorn Forrester, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know something? I haven't seen you this up in a long time. It's been too long. I've been in hell. Yeah. So tell me, um, how did Sly take your leaving? <sighs> Broke his heart. That. It's a poem. Um, it's probably the last one he'll ever write to me. Really? What's it say? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't even read it. Why? <sighs> I guess I just feel guilty enough already. Macy, you, you have to read that. I can't. I can't read it, Darla. Hey, hey, why, don't, why don't you read it? A tightrope walker stands upon a fragile strand. Reaching out for the cheering crowd, she wants to run into their embrace. Still, she must cross the unknown open space. This clown would climb the hundred runs to join her on her uncertain thread. Might all his hopes and secret prayers be just enough to help her through the empty air? Wow. Well, that's certainly not what I expected. W what do you mean? Well, the last time I saw Sly, he he was upset. He, he was even angry at me. And then he writes this poem. He cares about you, Macy. Yeah, but I can't understand how he can feel this way and not be able to show me in any other way. Here comes the bride, everybody. How does she look? Ah, how's it coming? I'll have it up and ready in a few minutes. Good. I've got those figures you wanted. Oh, yes, thank you, sir. Congratulations. I'm not married yet. I'm talking about the work going on in the hall. I've been here 20 years, and I still don't have a secretary. That's Sally's idea. Must be nice to be the big man in her life. Saul, don't. Please, close the door. What for? I'd like to talk to you privately. Uh-huh. What is it? You know, I'm getting married tomorrow. As if I could forget. Saul, you're very important to Sally. You should be part of this day. You're, you're her oldest, closest, dearest friend. I want to ask this for Sally. You want me to come to the wedding? Not quite that simple. I would like you to be my best man. What? Look, show Sally that you're behind her 100%. 
Stand up with us for this day. Let her know that you love her unconditionally. You think that the idea of losing belief isn't enough to upset me? I'm just hearing a lot more than that. What are you hearing? You feel abandoned by your family. Oh, honey, I know you all have your own lives to lead, please. But what about your life, Mother? That's what this is all about. It's about you and everything that you're up against. And tonight, you're up against a lot more than just Brooke Logan. I don't think I know what you mean. I think you do. I'm upset, but it's been a terrible day. What about tomorrow? Tomorrow? I can't help but wonder if this has something to do with a certain wedding that's happening tomorrow. Jack's wedding. Yes. You Jack's think wedding. I'm upset about that? Aren't you? Honey, Jack and I haven't been involved for a long time. But you still care about him. You're reading too much into this. Mother, it's obvious you're lonely. All this talk about fighting alone and all, I mean, it's obvious you're miserable. I'm fine. Denying your feelings isn't going to make it any better either. Well, neither is wallowing in self-pity. Have you talked to him recently? Uh, as a matter of fact, he dropped by the other night. He did? What for? Catch up. How was it? We had a lovely evening. We had a nice chance to talk. Well, there, doesn't that tell you something? We had a good relationship until his past caught up with him and I found out the truth. So now the truth does matter? No, not so much. Would you take him back if you could? Oh, that's beside the point. He's getting married tomorrow, even though I think he's too good for Sally. Okay, have you told him that? No, of course not. Mother, come on, you've got to be honest here with Jack and yourself. What do you want me to be honest about? Part of you still loves him? In fact, I know that's true. There's a part of you, Mother, that's still in love with Jack Hamilton. I think there is. Oh, wow, Sally, you're gorgeous. It's oh. the dress. No, no, Mom, it's you. You look radiant. Oh, darling, I've had so much love locked up inside of me. Now it's just pouring out of me. Oh. Saul did a fabulous job with his gown. Yeah, he really put his heart in this one. <sighs> yes, he did. It's beautiful. Mm. Oh, I'm so lucky to have people like Saul and you in my life. I couldn't have even dreamed about getting married again if it weren't for you. Not after what Clark Garrison did to me. Mom, you got over Clark on your own. No. No, I couldn't have done it without you. Macy, I want you to be my matron of honor. Mom. I mean it. At a time like this, nothing's more important to me than my family. I want you there beside me. Oh, Mother, I wouldn't miss it. Oh, Miss Darling. I thought I'd lost you forever. You didn't. Well, now that I've got you back in my life again, I want you in it up to your eyeballs. <laughs> I want that too. Yes. So you'll do it. Of course I'll do it, Mom. Oh, honey. Oh. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh, now don't you start blubbering around, Einstein. You're gonna get us all bawling. Don't cry anyway. Come on, you're gonna mess this dress up. <laughs> Can't mess up my dress. Tomorrow's gonna be the most important, wonderful day of my life. I love you. I love you. I love you, sweetheart. You want me to be your best man? Saul, I don't want to interfere with your friendship with Sally. That should remain part of her life. But I want you to be a major part of this wedding. I say you'll do it. Will you be my best man? You're making it very hard for me to say no. Why would you want to say no? I don't approve of this marriage. So what have I ever done to Sally? Nothing. But you will. I don't understand. Well, why are you so worried about it? 
you will disappoint her just the way Clark did. You will disappoint her if you don't show up at her wedding. I'm just trying to protect her. From what? She's always getting mixed up with guys like you. Guys like me? Yes. You're too good to be true. Why, because I happen to care for her as much as you do? Nobody can care about Sally as much as I do. Saul, I need somebody to stand up for me. And it's got to be me. You could make this a perfect wedding, Saul. Or you could spoil it. I don't want to spoil anything. Then say so you'll do it. All right. All right. I'll be your best man. Thank you. Thank you, Saul. And I just might surprise you. You don't have to prove anything to me. You just worry about Sally. If you don't treat her right, then you better worry about me. You still love him? I can't abide the thought of his marrying Sally. Then call him. And tell him what? What you told me. He loves Sally. Then why did he come to see you? I don't know. Well, maybe you ought to find out and ask him. What's the difference going to be? The decision is made. The wedding's tomorrow. It might make a lot of difference, Mother. You won't know until you try. Why are you doing this? Because I love you and I want you to be happy. Well, I love you too, but you're driving me crazy. Do me a favor. Talk to him. At the very least, he might cheer you up. OK? Just call him for me. Call him. Sally, aren't you nervous? No. No, I'm not nervous. I can't wait to take that walk down the aisle tomorrow. <laughs> That's because it's the only thing that stands between her and the honeymoon. <laughs> well, true, true. <laughs> but actually, I don't care if the ceremony takes all day. I'm going to love every minute of it. Oh, you are going to be the center of attention. <sighs> yes, and you know how I hate that. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? In all of this romance, we have forgotten one extra added treat oh, that's yeah. going to be involved tomorrow. What's that? Stephanie Forrester is finally going to get her just desserts. <laughs> Don't owe mom me, darling. Not after all the hell that woman's put us through. Yes, but mother, remember this is your wedding. Oh. It's not a contest. Everything's a contest with Stephanie. Especially in her love life, or lack of. Mm. You're really gonna show her this time, huh, Sal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Donna, all I know is that I have landed the best catch in the pond. <laughs> Come on, Jack, he isn't a trout. <laughs> well, he's very special, though, you must admit. He's handsome and he's generous and he's kind. He's wonderful. And he's all mine. <laughs> tomorrow afternoon. Yes. And tomorrow when Jack slips that plain little golden band on my finger, then the whole world will know what a prize I've won. And more than that, I will have finally won something from Stephanie Forrester. I will finally have something she wanted that she will never have. And oh, girls, when it comes to contests, winning is the best part. That is going to be the icing on my wedding cake. Phone's ready. Ah, you're done, huh? Hey, it's all hooked up. Mm -hmm. Check it out if you like. Hey. Jack Hamilton. Uh, Jack, it's uh, Stephanie. Stephanie, what can I do for you? Well, uh, can we talk? Are you all right? You, you sound upset. It's been a rough day. What happened? Well, I'll tell you all about it. Uh, can we meet? When? Tomorrow. Stephanie, I'm getting married tomorrow. Yes, I know. Uh, I thought maybe I could see you before the wedding. What's all this about? Well, I'll tell you everything when I see you. How does breakfast at the Cafe Rue sound? What time? 
Fine, I'll I'll be there. Thank you, Jack. So, Jack, you're going to meet Stephanie at eight o'clock at the Cafe Russe. We'll just see about that.